David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. Look, influential with his taste for sure, David. Thank you. And now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Morris. And he's gone dry over the past 10 games, guys. His scoring is way down, and he can't seem to fight his way out of the slump. He better get it going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. Here are the five for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard is out there with Marcus Morris. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then it's Paul George. And it's Beverly in at the point guard. And for the Rockets, Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. E.J. Tucker is out there with Robert Covington. And it's House in at the three slot. Now here's Leonard. Yep, that one goes. Chris, what would you tell a young player that maybe a couple years ago burst onto the scene were sensational, but have been uh, showing, maybe even uh, regressing a little? I tell them success is a journey. But even if they would have won a Rookie of the Year award last year or a championship, that doesn't make them successful if they don't come with that same work ethic the next year. So if you've had a down year, that does not matter. You're supposed to learn from it and make this year better as well. So I would say get back to the drawing board, get back to working hard, watch a lot of tape, be honest with yourself and focus on how to get better. Now, positive mentality. Let's go forward. Good direction. Now, here's Beverly following the miss by Russell Westbrook. Beverly against Westbrook. With the fadeaway. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Leonard's got six. Just phenomenal awareness by Beverly. Just dishing the ball to the wide open man easily. Here's Westbrook. It's hauled in by Beverly. That's the third straight miss to start this game, and they're still looking for their first basket. And that one's good. Leonard. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, yeah, and, and Greg, they've been a more cohesive team over this stretch, and then that helps account for their lead. Westbrook missing again. Not how you want to start the game. Four straight misses. I, I'd like to see some better ball movement from them. And it's Beverly missing. Well, their first miss after a perfect four for four start. Still, I really like the game plan they've come out with. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Here's Westbrook and the rejection by Zubats. It's time for him to start looking for other options. They can't let him keep shooting. His touch is gone. Nothing less than that kind of defense will cut it against him. That's just great work inside. Now here's Harden. 35 points for him last game against the Knicks in New York. Uh, but we got to talk about his D2. Four steals in the game. I mean, a complete all-around effort for him. Pass to Covington. House dishes to Westbrook. To end the cold streak. And it's Westbrook again missing. Los Angeles leading by eight. Leonard the pass to Zubats. Now here's Beverly. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Leonard no luck. Houston's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. House dishes to Tucker. Harden inside the three-point line. Another miss by Houston. The Clippers have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Beverly the pass to Morris. Beverly dishes to Morris. And Covington sends it back. Harden against Beverly. Just five to shoot. Second shot opportunity. And Harden sent a message to the D with the block, really showing his extraordinary athleticism on the defensive end. Outside Westbrook. And what was that about? Not a good shot right there. Leonard against Harden. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Now Westbrook. A 24-point outing in their last game against New York. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. 
Well, you, you knew after the Paul George trade that the Thunder would look to sell on Westbrook as well. Just part of the rebuild at this point. His agent did well to get him to a team looking to compete. A great fit for a player in this stage of Russ's career. Shooting two. The first one falls. That one is no good. A superstar summer Greg for the Los Angeles Clippers in Kawhi Leonard and in Paul George. Greg, they have two elite wings, great defenders in their prime. Give them credit, but, but also Kawhi Leonard pushing the levers behind the scenes. He, he wanted another superstar to join him in recruiting Paul George, who still had two years left on his deal in OKC. Kawhi took unprecedented control of his free agent destiny. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Harden outside. Another miss by Houston. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Leonard kicks to Beverly. Inside. And it's George finishing it off. Yeah, you see the athleticism George had on that dunk. It's so quick and explosive. Gets to the rim in an instant. Now here's Westbrook averaging around 27 and a half points a game. One of the best in the league. If he'd been even halfway decent today, the score would be a lot different. But he can't get anything to fall. Leonard finds Beverly. Here's Morris. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. George passes to Leonard. Leonard draws the double. Outside for George. And the three ball is good. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. No, because it's gone dead silent in this arena. What a fantastic performance here on the road. Now here's Westbrook. No good again that time. He's gone off the rails this quarter. And it's a bad time to do it. I mean, with they're needing to fight from behind. Rockets trail by 16. Here's Harden, and it's sent back by George. Leonard, the pass to Beverly. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Man, you don't see this fella blow many layups. Not against D like that, anyway. Here's Westbrook. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. And terrific floor awareness. I mean, it's obvious Covington has a great feel for when his teammates are wide open. Everly with the ball. Outside Leonard. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Leonard's got 10. And he delivers another blow. Something's gotten into him this quarter. He's carrying them offensively. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Chris, when it comes to playing alongside another big guy, uh, I, I'm sure you have to think of ways to complement each other. Not just him, but it's got to be a two-way street. Yeah, and but it starts with chemistry. It starts with friendship. It starts with wanting to win. And I played with two big guys that come to mind that, that made me better. Jawan Howard there in, in Washington, just looking at him, throwing a hoop. I would miss two, three shots in a row, and we'd look, and he'd say, I'll get you an easy one, big fella. And I would do the same thing to him. We're playing with a guy like Vladi that would say, hey, wait a minute, maybe you're patient. You didn't get a shot set a screen for them and he would pass it to them and then the next play say now it's your turn you're open because they're going to go over there to those guys we already tricked the defense ahead so guys that are smart guys that could pass and also guys that are say hey man you look a little tired uh let's switch i'll check shack this play <laughs> houston with a big group substitution here Jeff Green is checked in for Robert Covington. McLemore has come in for Daniel House. Gordon's checked in for James Harden. 
And it's Austin Rivers in for Russell Westbrook. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. On Trez Harrell, he's checked in for Zubox. Green comes in for Morris. Landry Shamit's checked in for George. Lou Williams is subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Now, here's Shamit. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Poked away. Here's Green, and Green slams it in. And you really can't forget about Green's speed. So effective on the drive. Williams kicks to Harrell. Back to Williams. Outside Leonard. Lock at six. McLemore, the pass to Rivers. Over Williams. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. For the Houston Rockets, they come into tonight following a loss to New York. And it's Shamit missing. Rockets trail by 14. Green, the pass to Tucker. And he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. If he's got his hands on the ball within a few feet of the basket, Tucker has one thing on his mind. Dunk that thing. Here's Leonard. Connects on the open J. Leonard's got 12. Oh, six of eight from the field. 75%. Just scoring the ball at will. Rivers passes to McLemore. And here's Tucker. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Off target from the wing. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame him for letting that one fly. Deep threats, that's the only way to describe these guys who have led the NBA in three-point percentage in the second half of the season. The fourth spot held by Ben McLemore. And instead of wearing down as the season's progressed, his legs really seem to have gotten stronger, and so has his three-point shooting. First free throw is good. Damari Carroll's checked in for the Rockets. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Jackson, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Oh, you can get spoiled watching him at the line. I mean, you just expect him to make everyone every time Rivers passes to McLemore back to Rivers Carroll dishes to Gordon and he banks in the lane he is showing how effective he can be it's crucial that Gordon plays with confidence close to the buck Williams looking around Pass to Green. And yes, it's good. And the Clippers lead by 16. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Here's Rivers. Rebound by Harrell. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. Oh, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss many of those. Chris at that free throw line. There's a lot of chirping, isn't there? Uh, among the players around the lane. <laughs> it just seems like their mouths are always moving. A lot of chirping. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for the ones that are sucking there and, yeah, and are tired, <laughs> yeah, they're talking to each other. It's the only real break in action. And there's times, too, you get to see what has happened a few of the plays before. So you get to bust the guy up with some jokes or just flat out uh, talking trash. And sometimes guys are saying, uh, I hate to tell you this, but sometimes the guys are going, man, listen, I'm so tired. He's going to make this free throw. Don't, don't, don't push me too hard on this. I got to get, get rest for a couple seconds. They, they say that, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially to the guys. I, I remember saying that to Ben Wallace one time. He was my rookie, and I was like, listen, man, you know Legs is going to make this free throw, man. Don't, don't, come on, don't push me all the way into the basket. You'd have a good what was the response? Uh, he pushed me into the basket. <laughs> good on both. Now here's Rivers. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Let's go. 
Back to Gordon. Down to five on the shot clock. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Gordon's got five points so far. And Gordon has always been a lethal perimeter shooter. When he gets a clean look, he doesn't hesitate pulling the trick. Williams with the ball. Picked up by Rivers. Here's the floater. Here's Harrell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, the defender all over. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. And he makes the first. And wow, you just have to love the motor on Montrez Harrell when he's on the floor. Great on the glass, and he just plays with such a, a fire. And both free throws, good for Harrell. And with Harrow, you can see how his energy spreads to the rest of the team. Reminds me a bit of what Fareed used to bring the team. Harrell is also undersized, but boy, he makes up for it in so many ways. Rivers kicks to Gordon. Green passes to Rivers. Here's McLemore. A three-pointer, no good. 106 left in the first quarter. Now the pass to Shamit. The shot comes out, so Houston will take it the other way. Last time they met was in Los Angeles, where they beat the Clippers. And they got the better of this matchup last time with their defensive pressure and the ability to force turnovers. Uh, they had them in their heels the whole game. The intensity of their defense was a key factor. Uh, come on, you, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. Gordon against Jackson. Back to Williams. Great D that time from Green. For the Houston Rockets, they come into tonight following a loss to the Knicks in New York. Shots good by McLemore. That's the kind of player McLemore is. He is always thinking of shooting as soon as he gets the ball off the pass. Outside Williams. They get it back. Green. The shot from the low post is good. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Yeah, Greg. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Clippers lead by 16. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. Russell Westbrook is surly disposition on the court, but he talks about the power of positivity with his teammates. Throughout the years, I've been trying to find ways to be a better leader. Uh, leadership was a huge thing, and um, I felt the way I reacted to certain plays and my facial expressions um, and my demeanor can change a lot for a teammate. Well, you can't win it alone. And for superstar players like Westbrook, individual greatness isn't enough. It's about elevating the team around them. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter of play here on Noche Latina. Valenos. And quite a position here for the Clippers to be in. What do you think, guys? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. You're exactly right, GA. I mean, they've been quicker to the ball, showing great anticipation and terrific hustle. Rivers and Gordon make the backcourt. Jamari Carroll is out there with McLemore. And it's Green in at the five down low. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And, 
and what a journey it's been for Austin Rivers since being drafted 10th overall back in 2012. Looked like he might not have what it takes to be an NBA player early, but he persevered and is now an integral part of this group. One shot. The free throw drops for Rivers. And with Rivers, he's never given up on himself and continued to add to his game, even, Greg, as he's gone from team to team. You know, he's shown that he can function as either the point or off guard and still give great production from either spot. And as he grows older, you, you can see him being a top-level six-man for the rest of his career. Now, here's Shannon. Off target from three-point range. McLemore with the ball. He's against Williams. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket for McLemore. Jackson against Rivers. Right side, Jackson. Over Rivers. Jackson misses. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. Well, that's how you play it. He does a good job of getting into the shooter's airspace. Green, no luck. Oh, defense, they just took that possession off. I mean, they get away with it that time, but they've got to show some more aggression. From the baseline. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. Only giving up two points this quarter. Shot is good in the Los Angeles leads. Cut down now to just nine in the bucket for McLemore. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Now here's Williams. He picked up 24 points in their last one against Philadelphia. While he was doing that, I mean dropping buckets. He was keeping everybody else involved, too. I mean, he had a tremendous night facilitating. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, one of the things that teams are more aware of in the age of analytics is the importance of sleep. Those teams are making adjustments. Morning shoot-arounds have been moved in some cases to the afternoon or eliminated altogether. There are many fewer teams that are taking red-eye flights across country. And some teams even give players orange-tinted glasses to encourage them to sleep. There's a lot of work to be done in this field, but the direction is clear. Continuing to evolve. All right, David, thank you. And here's Jackson following Jeff Green's three. They could use a bucket and plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And there's the foul against Houston. First, the common thought is you don't want to be a middle of the road team. You think clubs are too quick now to pull the trigger on a rebuild uh, as opposed to giving some time to what they've got and, and be you know, more patient? Oh, are you kidding me, Kevin? Don't make me go. I, I, this is why I need a psychologist because, hey, when I was in Washington, we had myself, Rasheed Wallace, and Juwan Howard yeah. and Rod Strickland. Like, just, just wait a minute. Give us, give us one year to try. And by the way, the Bulls won 72. We couldn't have won a championship that year anyway. And so, yeah, I think a lot of teams are short-sighted and it's based upon their expectations. And their expectations may not be based in reality. Houston with a big group substitution here. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Green. Robert Covington comes in for Damari Carroll. James Harden, he's checked in for McLemore. And Russell Westbrook has subbed in for Rivers. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Marcus Morris is checked in for Green. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Landry Shamit. George is checked in for Williams. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Jackson. Passes to Harden. And Harden with the stuff. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. It's not going to be easy, but they've come this far. And they're right here. Now here's Harold. Picked up 24 points in their last one against Philadelphia. On the wing, George. Defended by Covington. George dishes to Morris. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on James Hart. While the shooting of Morris provides his team with this crucial, just a real valuable part of this team. The Clippers have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts.
The first one falls. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And here's Houston. They're on a 14-4 run. Harden, no good. And, and they continue to control the glass. Pass to Beverly. To the inside. And Leonard gets it to go on the assist by George. Leonard's got 14. And the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything about that dish was pinpoint. 4-3, Westbrook. Rebound by Harrell. Harrell's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Sure. And it's George finishing it off. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Westbrook. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Leonard's got his sixth rebound on the night. And finished off by Leonard. And he moves so well. When Leonard drives the lane, it's pretty much a guaranteed bucket. Terrific body control, and he plays with the ultimate force. Now here's Harden. He's as deadly a weapon as you're going to find in the league, an average of almost 35 points a game. Wow. Four three, Westbrook. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point attempt. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. He sucks. Three shots. And he hits the first of three. Houston making a switch here. House is checked in. And he's good on the second. And he can't make it three for three. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach. Driving. Oh, what a beautiful play. What an intensity. Did you see that? Oh, Great. Goodness. And I just love the aggressiveness from George. Just slicing apart the defense with that terrific ability to penetrate. Here's Harden. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And sometimes I feel like people don't truly appreciate the greatness of what James Harden does. He's one of the toughest guys to check on the fast break. He has one of the best Euro steps in the game, the best footwork in the game. He'll hit you in the head for deep. You can't check him without fouling him. The precision of his movements, the ease in which he scores, come on, man. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. As you said, C. Webb, what Harden has been doing the last few years is truly remarkable. Yeah, Kevin, and what's funny, because when you are achieving greatness and critics try to diminish what you're doing, it's just, it's just funny to me. Harden is one of the great guards of all time, no matter how you slice it. And both free throws good for James Harden. And it's clear that the Beard is a special player, a clutch performer. He loves to play the game of basketball. Bounce pass from Beverly. Here's Leonard. That shot off. And Houston the other way now. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game played. 
Yeah, I mean, in that one, you really saw a difference in aggression between the two teams, particularly on the board. Well, the rebounding numbers weren't even close. I mean, that was a boxing match on the glass. They would have stopped that fight a long time ago. And it's the fearlessness of Westbrook. It's really refreshing to watch. When he's deep inside, he just goes right at you. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Just hasn't found his form at the Mind line the here length. in the first half. Mind the lane. One shot. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. Los Angeles leading by seven. The feed to Harrell. That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got assist number five here tonight. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Now here's Westbrook. Eight points for him. Count that one. Westbrook's got ten points in the game. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. To the paint. Leonard with the bucket. And the Clippers lead by nine. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Beverly against Westbrook. Floats one up. And the rejection by Harrell. It's good. Now Beverly, he's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Pass to George. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Harden's got four rebounds in this game. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. Oh, textbook defense. I mean, he took a good angle to the shooter and bothered the release. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Many thought the Raptors or Lakers would land Kawhi, but in the end, he came to the Clippers to write his own legacy. Returning to Southern Cal, where he grew up, was a big part of his decision. The big surprise was how Kawhi was out recruiting other stars behind the scenes to join him with the Clippers. The free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. You know, there are differing opinions as to who the best defensive player in the league is, but no matter what, Kawhi is always in the discussion. Timeout call for Rockets. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Poor rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. A break in the action so let's take a look at the west and how the teams are stacking up you look at the clippers right now they've acquired the second best record in the conference and checking out houston a couple spots below and seeing where the rockets are they've stayed right there just in sniffing distance of the conference leaders that's a solid accomplishment at this stage of the season well, it's possible we haven't seen them at their best yet they've shown they can play with any team in the league but now they need to do it every night not just some nights and a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Beverly looking around. And again, no good by the Clippers. 
Rockets trail by 10. The pass to Tucker. Here's Westbrook. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Leonard. Good D by Covington. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. On the wing, George. From past the arc. They get it again. And it's Beverly missing. And so Westbrook will bring it up for Houston. It's a 10-point game. Yeah, he's superb at finding open teammates. Harden, I love how he looks to share the rock. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against Philadelphia. And that one was all about offensive execution, running your plays, picking your spot. As long as you do that, you put yourself in a good position to win, no matter if you're home or away. Now, here's Westbrook. Paul George unable to get his shot to go. Westbrook drives in over Beverly. Almost, but it rolls out. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. They grab their own miss. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And, and I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Well, for so much of what Paul George brings to the table, you have to start with his defensive impact. He is one of the top defenders in the league at his position, if not the best. First one falls for him. You look at George with all he does, Greg, you sometimes forget how good his perimeter defense is. Well, I mean, his teammates and coaches won't ever forget about the impact he has on that end. Even when George isn't scoring or the shot isn't falling, he is still a monster on the floor just with his defense alone. Second free throw, no good. He's forcing things a little bit in this quarter, settling for shots that he'd be better off passing up. How's the pass to Westbrook? It's stolen by Morris. And now the Clippers on the break. Here's Leonard. And finished off by Leonard. And busting it up the floor. Leonard showing a lot of energy on the fast break. If there's one thing he doesn't lack, it's hustle. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 10. Basket counts. Yeah, he doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Los Angeles leading by nine. Here's Beverly. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. On the wing, George. Five to shoot. Count the basket. And the Clippers lead by 11. And the mid-range jumper really right in George's comfort zone. When he isn't blowing by guys and finishing at the rim, he's knocking that one down with consistency. Here is House. 20 points for him last game against the Knicks in New York. Here's Westbrook. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got his fifth rebound in this one. George, no good. The rotation in the D could be better here. It, it'll cost him next time if it's not. Westbrook against Beverly. Yep, it goes. And the Clipper lead is cut down now to just nine in the basket from Russell Westbrook. Oh, he's been dominant this court. I mean, he's determined to prevent the lead from getting any bigger. Now, here is George. 16 points for him. Another shot, and it's good on the way in. George has got 18 points in the game. And obviously, his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Here is House. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Westbrook kicks to Harden. From deep. It's hauled in by Beverly. Los Angeles leading by 11. Passes it to Leonard. Plays it up and in on the nice reverse. 
Leonard's got 25 points. And he's got the athleticism and strength to be a powerful presence inside. Leonard never afraid to get in and mix it up down low. Now here's Westbrook. He's got 14. Left side Covington. A 19-foot shot, and it's Westbrook. That time on the assist from Covington. 16 points for Russell Westbrook. And Westbrook is a terror from the mid-range. Terrific at sticking it to the defense from that spot on the floor. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for the L.A. Clippers. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by court. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Rockets trail by 11. Taking a look at Los Angeles. We've got Patrick Beverly. Morris is out there with Ivica Zubas. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's George in at the two. Harden, no good. Clippers shooting well. They're at 45%. Feeds it to Leonard. Goes back up. He takes it up and lays it in. Leonard's got 27 points. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Harden outside. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Beverly with the ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Leonard crops in the layup for two. And the Clippers lead by 15. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, we know about Lou Williams' story. The three-time sixth man of the year may be undersized, but he keeps finding angles to score. Williams said, I can't shoot straight up. I've always played crooked. It's weird, but it's something I've developed, fading away from guys. I have bigger defenders on me, and it's just about creating space. Kevin, even well into his 30s, Lou Will still does it as well as anybody. I would totally agree, David. He is always deadly. Thank you. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Beverly against Westbrook. Down low. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Love the attitude of Westbrook. Continues to improve at running the offense and finding ways to create opportunities for his teammates. Now here's Beverly. He kicks it to Leonard. Leonard draws the double. Beverly wide open. That's good. And it's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got six assists now in the game. And Beverly has wonderful moves and has a great stroke from downtown. Gotta love how he rises up with plenty of confidence. Here's Westbrook. 16 points for him. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got rebound number eight now on the night. He's been cold. Oh, oh look oh, at him! Oh, oh, get out the way! Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Absolutely relentless. They're in the flow and riding that wave for as long as they can. The three from Harden hits the three-point pop. Harden's got seven. I love how confident Harden looks shooting from there. He just drains those long shots. Beverly, the pass to Zubats. He feeds it to Leonard. No good there. Good D by Covington. Rockets trail by 17. And the rejection by Zubats. There's the double team with Westbrook. Here's Morris. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Robert Covington picks one up. Well, wow, look at Morris just using that big body of his to draw contact. The defense has a tough time matching up with him. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Yeah. 
and Morris drops them both. Second half here. We're just over three and a half minutes into it. Westbrook scanning the floor. And he just hasn't been able to get it going. Inside, Leonard. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. And he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. And the Clippers making a change here. Harrell's checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. Free throw drops for Leonard. And it's the Rockets with the ball. And here's Harden. Seven points in the game. Covington trying to break free. And the basket by Harden. Harden's got nine. Now look, nobody takes more contact than Harden inside. Nobody's better at scoring through. And for James Harden, he loves to be put on an island and go one-on-one -on -one against a defender. Well, yeah, last season, Harden had as many isos fall for him as some teams ran. Him. And that's all because of his coach. His coach calls the games that way. It's his bread and butter. And there isn't much you can do to stop him with one defender. Beverly against Westbrook. Now here's Beverly, guarded closer. There's the double team with Covington. And Harrell slams it in. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Outside Westbrook. Looking to get back on track here. It's hauled in by Beverly. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. That's his first personal foul at the line for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for Daniel House. Lou Williams is checked in for the Clippers. So he comes up empty, missing both. Rockets trail by 20. Over to the wing. Here's Westbrook. And he's back in business as a jumper finally drops for him. Westbrook's got 18 points. A solid glue guy to have on your team. Covington is so adept, Kevin, at sharing the rock with his guys. Rockets with the rebound. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Right, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. Pass to Leonard. Over Gordon. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist by Williams. 34 points for Leonard. It's been a clinical performance. He's played a huge role and, and has them in position to grab the W. Harden surveying the D. And it's off from three-point range. Beverly, the pass to Leonard. And it's Leonard with the jam. And that's what Beverly does best, a quick passer who distributes the ball incredibly well. Now, here is Harden. 11 points in the game. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Good day, Chris. I heard Commissioner Adam Silver talking about that it strikes him sometimes how isolated players can be with cell phones and headphones, and those things wouldn't help that. Uh, is it something that you've noticed or that you're concerned about? 
Uh, you mean with my nephews and nieces and friends that are younger and kids walking <laughs> oh, across everybody. the street yeah. looking at their phones and not even looking both ways? You're your play-by-play partner, whoever it might be. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. You know, Kevin, those are the times. And so I, I, would, tell, uh, I would tell Adam Silver, Mr. Commissioner, that's a basketball problem. That's a world problem. How, how are we going to stop yeah. any of that? We're, we're here now. There's, there's no putting that genie back in the bottle, Kevin. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Green, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Damari Carroll comes in for Robert Covington. And McLemore subbed in for Russell Westbrook. And then for Los Angeles, Green, he's checked in for Leonard. Landry Shamit comes in for George. And it's Jackson in for Patrick Beverly. And it's Williams with the ball for Los Angeles. 22 is their biggest lead. It's off to Oklahoma City for him after this game, so they have the Thunder to look forward to. That matchup falls in the middle game of this three-game trip. To the middle. Harrell, that's good. Harrell's got four points now in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. <laughs> yeah, they're pouring it on right here. Trying to give the opposition no light at the end of the time. He's getting hotter the deeper we get into this game. I mean, he didn't give him, he didn't give him much of anything in the first half. On the wing, Williams. Pass to Shamit. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. There's Jackson with the three. Cans it from downtown. Jackson's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Outside, Gordon. Carroll kicks to McLemore. The pass to Harden. There's the triple. Drains it from beyond the arc. Harden's got 17 now. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. Outside, Jackson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's going to be on James Harden. And as long as Reggie Jackson is healthy, he's going to give you some punch as a lead guard. Solid scoring option and a guy who's also unselfish in terms of getting his teammates involved. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Jackson. And for the last half decade, Reggie Jackson has been good for about 15 points a game. And that is about the consistency you can expect from Jackson. He's always been a talent. The key for him is just staying on the floor. Rivers, he's checked in for James Harden. He makes one of two that time. As a kid, Jackson saw a lot of the world. His dad was in the Air Force, so he lived in Italy, England, North Dakota, Florida, Colorado. He was all over the place. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Clippers leading by 17. Pass to Harold. Green with the block. Gordon deciding where to go with it. Can't cash in from close range. Los Angeles has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Williams, that's good. Oh, and when there's an open man, Jackson finds him, making it look very easy. Houston's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Williams against Gordon. With the floater, and the shot goes down. Gordon's got nine. The Clippers shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Outside, Williams. Pass to Green. Here's Harrell. Tries again. Green with the block. There's McLemore. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a quick review, looking at some numbers here for Lou Williams. 
Uh, he's really producing here second half of the season. Averaging about 16 points, five assists, and two rebounds. Uh, to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. Yeah, yeah. It, it gives you something you really can rely on going into every game. And, and you can also work Two off shots. of him to look to create for others. And the first one at the line is good. Uh, the former Jayhawk McLemore, a gifted scorer who can really light it up in a hurry. Morris is checked in for the Clippers. Lamore drops them both. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Clippers. 22 is their biggest lead. It's stolen by Green. Banked in off the glass. Seven points in the game. Clippers leading by 13. Jackson passes to Harrell. to Shamit. Over Gordon. And that one's good. Shamit. Shamit's got six. Look, he's a tough fella to deal with when he gets below the free throw line. Houston's gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. Here's Rivers. Carroll against Morris. Six to shoot. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. And the wide open shot from Green misses the three. Los Angeles has gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Jackson against Rivers. Morris outside. And there's the pass to Harrell. Harrell with the rebound. Rockets trail by 15. Green dishes to Rivers. Back to Green. Uses the glass to finish the way. Green's got four points now in the quarter. There is the unselfishness the coaches love so much. Rivers doing a great job getting it to the open man. Outside Williams. Back to Harrell. It's stolen by McLemore. Oh, and here we go. Green's got it. The fast break chance. Gordon with no one around. And a miss there on the triple. Clippers leading by 13. Shamit the pass to Jackson. Kicks to Morris. Williams from outside. And there's the call on Montrez Harrell. That is his first foul of the game. The Rockets shooting it well here in the third, about 50%. Now Gordon. He's got nine. Makes it off the glass. Gordon's got 11 points. Look, it's always awesome to see Gordon take it to the rim. Adding more wrinkles to his offensive game. Sick. Went by Coach Dan Tony. I mean, no reason to take difficult, low-percentage shots. Let's just move the basketball, and eventually something will open up. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Russell Westbrook out there with McLemore. Then there's Gordon. Then it's Damari Carey. And it's House in at the power forward position. That's the five for Houston right now. Greg, I'm just so impressed with the level of finesse and craftiness that Lou Williams always plays with. And Kevin, you don't stay a perennial six-man of the year candidate at, at Williams' age without having more than a few tricks up your sleeve. He, he's so Shoot good in two. tight spaces and can find a way to get a shot up where others just have to kick it out. throw good Lou Williams 
And most fans think of the Rockets as offense only, but that's not the case at all. No, G.A., I mean, they force a good amount of turnovers, and they trap pretty well. I mean, the defense has been solid for them the past few years, if you ask me. Nothing mind-blowing, but this team is certainly not one-sided. And Williams drops them both. And Williams is sort of the classic instant offense guy. Whether he's coming off the bench or starting, he can provide a spark whenever they need one. So here's Westbrook. To the inside. Stolen by Jackson. Williams against Westbrook. Loads it up there for Harrell. Yeah, nice, silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Back to Westbrook. Passes it to House. Good work defensively by Morris. Clippers leading by 15. And Williams gets it to go on the assist by Jackson. And that's now nine points for Williams. Jackson against Westbrook. Over Jackson. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. Now, here's Shamit, defended by Gordon. Rockets with the rebound. Gordon's got four rebounds in this game. Down low. Got a piece of it. Here's House. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. First free throw is good. Houston making some changes. P.J. Tucker comes in for Damari Carroll. And Robert Covington subbed in for Ben McLemore. The Clippers also changing it up. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Landry Shamit. Paul George comes in for Lou Williams. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Jackson. And so House nails both of them. Los Angeles leading by 16. Everly with the ball. In the corner, it's Morris. No good on the three. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Pass to Westbrook. Trying his luck from deep. It's good from long range. Westbrook's got 21 in the game. There you go. His first three-pointer of the night. That should calm him down. Maybe even get him going a little bit. Here's Leonard. Shot is good off the bad rim and in. And the Clippers lead by 15. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Here's Westbrook. It's rebounded by Leonard. Leonard's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And that one's good. Beverly. Even when contact comes Beverly's way. I mean, he's a pro at finishing. Absorbing it so well on these shots. Or three, Westbrook. Westbrook missing again. Los Angeles leading by 17. To the paint. And Harrell slams it in. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. Oh, man, so unselfish. He's doing a great job creating for others and, and making pinpoint passes. And it's Westbrook again missing. Here's Los Angeles now. They're on a 13-5 run. Here's George. And another assist for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. 
And with a younger generation of fans cutting the cord, Adam Silver has talked about ways, Chris, to make the games, the NBA games, more accessible. Yeah, and as a guy, Kevin, that played on the West Coast, the I know lanes. many people aren't happy lanes. with this idea, but I say move the games up an hour. Move it to 6 o'clock so that I could watch LeBron on the West Coast when I'm living on the East Coast and be, and yes. be to bed by a normal time where kids can stay up. But how about the streaming? I mean, you can watch it on your phone. so many better and different ways now. I mean, before, if you were traveling, you could never watch a game because you had to be by a, a TV set stuck into a wall. Now, that's your phone, your pads, and everything else. So I love the game. It's becoming more global because of, of the expansion and how we've gotten players out there in front of fans. And now, uh, with the access that fans have from some type of mobile device, uh, I, I, I just love it. I love it. Los Angeles with another miss. Houston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Harden. Another miss by Houston. Setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. Leonard kicks to George. Pass to Morris. Back to George. Four on the shot clock. Went to go with a three. But they recover it. Well, that's made a huge difference in this game, if you ask me. Their offensive rebounding has been sensational. And the wide-open shot from Morris. The Clippers keep it alive. Oh, tough play underneath there to give them another possession. Just what they were hoping for. A little more time off the clock. He's done a lot of the little things to help put them in front. I mean, but his offense has not been there for the night. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Chris, we read this the other day, the NBA announcing the development of the BAL, the Basketball African League. They feel there's a lot of untapped potential there. I, I would tend to agree. I'm so excited. I already put my name in the hat to go out there and work with and help develop oh, terrific. these kids. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, just think about this. You want to know what type of talent is out there? Um, let's just start with Akeem. Then we go to Matumbo and <laughs> Bead. He's from Cameroon. How about after the Kupo, who has Nigerian parents? Uh, uh, I, I mean, we, we can keep on going. How about uh, Abaka help find Siakam? Oh, my goodness. Yes. There's some talent out there, baby. And, yes, I'm excited for the BAL, the Basketball Africa League. Africa, stand up, baby. And Russell Westbrook drops them both. Here's Beverly. To the middle. Here's Leonard. And again, another assist. Dishing it all over the place in this one. He's tallying them up in bunches. Now a timeout called by Houston. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Uh, there should only be one thing they're talking about in this timeout. Try Clippers on defense. Covington finds Tucker. And some nice passing there by Houston. Shot from 12. That one off the back iron and out. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Oh, man, an awful display from him so far. But you know he's going to keep working to try to turn it around. Harden dishes to Covington. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. A six foot nine. Duncan is it hard for Covington. In fact, he does it with ease. There's the pass to Zubats. The G League growing by leaps and bounds. One is now being brought to Mexico City, Chris. I mean, first of all, let's go back to last season. Did you see how crazy those fans were in Jurassic Park in Toronto? Yeah, they love it. Can you imagine Mexico? Oh, my They'll God. Love it. This you would better be believe great. It. Mexico City, yeah. Let's bring everyone in, all the fans in. And what I really love is that it's for the home fan base. So when I think of the Toronto Raptors, I think about the city of Toronto. I think about Canada and how it's theirs. And even though we're one league, that team is theirs. And they take that pride on. And it just brings so much more excitement. Can you imagine all the people in Mexico City? Being excited for their team? Oh, I want to be at one of the first games when that happens because I know the crowd is going to be sick. It's going to be crazy. I want to be there. One shot. And that one misses. 
Well, in overtime, Beverly has established himself as, a, as just a defensive specialist, juggernaut, an absolute pest who plays his tail off on both ends of the floor. A shot by Harden, wide open, and the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Harden's got 15 points here in the second half. And here's Beverly. Morris outside. He kicks to George. Shot clock at six. And no good that time. Harden with the defensive effort. Championship or bust. We've seen it. I mean, they've dished out huge contracts going full win mode now. I mean, they're putting it all on the line with this team. Free throw drops for Covington. And the Rockets desperate for a return to the NBA Finals. Oh, the team has had their chances. They just need to make the most of them. I mean, front office, they're doing what they can help to make the most of Harden's prime. I mean, you have to admire their willingness to go for it now. And both free throws good for Covington. You know, this is the type of guy I like, from, from undrafted to a quality role player. I mean, he has heart. He's gotten better every year. Covington adds a lot to this team. Uh, he can let that thing fly, too. He's a fearless shooter. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. Oh, I do too, Greg. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy, and so far, it's paying off in this game. Here's Leonard. A shot missing. So Houston will take it the other way. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Puts up a three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Morris has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's Beverly. Lays it up off the glass. Beverly's got six points in the quarter. The switch flipped for him at halftime. Not a single point in the first half. All of a sudden, he's come alive. And Westbrook, here we go, over Beverly, and that one's good, Westbrook. Westbrook's got 25 points. And here's George, he'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. It's good from the top of the key. And guys, when George gets cooking, you are in for a long night. He's just fantastic at finding different ways to score. Here's Harden. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on George. And along with the association, we've seen the growth of the G League, the WNBA, the 2K League. Chris, which of those have you followed the most? Well, first let me say I should have been drafted by the 2K League because I'm really nice. As a matter of fact, anybody <laughs> listening to the sound of my voice, I will beat you in the game that I'm talking on right now. But secondly... I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> I love the WNBA from Lisa Leslie to Cheryl Swoops to my girl Candace Parker. Are you kidding me? The skill set of these ladies? Oh, they have game. And I can't say I follow one the most because even the G League and their all-star game I follow. Right now, it's a great time for hoops and all three of these these leagues I'm in on. Daniel House has checked in for Houston. So he gets them both. Now here's Beverly. George looking around. Over Harden. Here's Zubats. And he gets the bucket. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Oh, it's simple. When you fail to put a body on someone, you're inviting a breakdown on the defensive glass. Here's Westbrook. Another miss by Houston. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through your fingers. Inside, Morris. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys.
One shot. Morris, no good on the free throw. You see the shift toward players on competing teams becoming friends. How does that compare uh, to when you played, Chris? Uh, it's a little bit different. The players that I admired the most, I wouldn't be friendly with on purpose. Uh, we were in the same position. A guy like KG, one of my favorite players ever. We're close now. But during when we played, it was either me or him. Really? It was wow. no both of us. I didn't want to hang around with him when I'm trying to beat him in the summer. But, you know, you got guys like the Banana Boat crew and LeBron <laughs> and Wade. They're, they're good friends anyway. Melo and Bron came in one and two, and they had that relationship. So uh, I think relationships are always great. Really, it's just about uh, can you turn the friendship off when you cross the line? I know that Banana Boat crew can, and I know others can as well. And, and that's all you want. As much as your friends off the court, I want you to dislike each other on the court through your friendship, just like a big brother, little brother type of thing. So I don't think it's a problem. And it's George finishing it off. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. To the left side wing. Tucker, the pass to Harden. Houston moving the ball around. To Westbrook takes the three. Rebound by the Clippers. Now Beverly passes it to Leonard over House. Here's Zubats, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Zubats has got six points in the quarter. Houston's gotten some tough luck from three-point range. In the fourth quarter, they've hit just one of six from deep. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Clippers. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side... One that I think most will try to forget. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Leonard. Oh, man, anticipation, instincts, energy. All his tools were on display tonight as he lit the place up. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yeah, there's no doubt as to who was the better team. I mean, they, they proved it with this win. House kicks to Westbrook. 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Tucker finds Westbrook. Morris with the rebound. He hasn't been able to find any kind of groove this quarter. I mean, it seems like he's been running on fumes since halftime. From deep. Rockets with the rebound. Here is Harden. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team.